<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. One day we're all going to have no hair, and they're going to look back at pictures of us, and they're going to go, what the fuck were they doing? What is that bald Armpit human hair, race? Facial hair and shit. Everyone looks Tattoos. the same. Yeah. No eyebrows, eyelashes. I really think that's the future. I think the the future is those aliens from Close Encounters. I think the reason why we have those archetypal images in our head is because we know that's where we're going. Have you ever uh, talked to Paul Hellyer or looked at his stuff at all? Who's that? He's like the Canadian alien dude. (sighs) They're all the same. (laughs) But he was was part of the government. And he oh, talks, he? He's oh, the like government. Specific, well, then for sure he's well, telling he's, the truth. He specifically talks about the, <laughs> the like different types of aliens. Oh, well, that makes him even more legit. Come on, Joe. For sure, with no evidence, he definitely would sh- tell us all about these all different kinds yeah, of aliens. Yeah, you should look into it. You might want to have, have him on. I have, unfortunately. Have, and I'm so not you know saying there's no aliens. About? I don't know him, but I know the, the whole alien Is it alien because you're an alien? I, no, and you don't want people to know. I think there's a business in it's telling okay. people that you we know about the aliens. It's okay. We accept you for who you are. The problem is there's a business in telling people that there you know about is. the aliens. Ex Defense Minister. Ex-defense. Aliens so would give us did. more tech if we'd stop wars. All right, let's play this. I want to hear this. What's that? Oh, it's not, but it's on RT. But why is he no, the one on dude? That. He was on RT. This is why they just talking He's a special dude. Why didn't, why didn't they chilling. talk to other people? But it says on RT, that proof of aliens' one. presence He's overwhelming. He's like the chosen one. No, that's just a picture of it. That's just a screenshot. Oh, I what see. the Nintendo part? But he part? was on, right? Yeah. So he's got to be. There's got to be a video of it, no? There's many videos of Paul Hellyer. And I've watched do, them. Do you buy it when you listen to him talk? Oh, it makes me question. I'm, I'd like I to hear. I'm interested. I like to hear his voice to see if my crazy radar goes off. Just give me a little piece. Tell us, wise one. Tell us, wise one, what you feel. End of production before the end. Of- you got two different shit playing. Jamie's a tabber. <laughs> well, because I know that they are. Okay. And they've been, um, as a matter of fact, um, they've been visiting our planet for thousands of years. And one of the cases that would interest you most, if you give me two or three minutes to answer, is uh, during the Cold War, 1961. There were about 50 UFOs in formation flying south from Russia to the, across Europe. And the uh, Supreme Allied Commander was very concerned um, and about ready to press the panic button when they turned around and went back over the North Pole. So they decided to do uh, an investigation. What did that say? And they investigated for three years. And they decided that um, with absolute certainty that four species, four different species, at least, had been visiting this planet for thousands of years. So that's, uh, we have a long history of UFOs, and of course, there's been a lot more activity in the last uh, few decades since uh, uh, we invented the atomic bomb, and uh, they're very concerned about, uh, about that and the fact that uh, we might use it again. And, because the whole cosmos is a unity, and it affects not just us, but other people in the cosmos, they're very much afraid that we might be stupid enough to uh, start using atomic weapons again, and this would be very bad for us and uh, for them as well. So no serious scientist has ever publicly confirmed evidence of an encounter with extraterrestrials. Why would scientists not confirm the facts if they exist? I'm I'm afraid they must go out of their way not to find out. Because if they did, you know, even 10% of the amount of research I've done in the last eight years, they would be as convinced as I am. I mean, they could do it even faster. Uh, Might take them a little longer when they didn't have a military background. But uh, there are so many wonderful books that tell these these stories, and uh, and they've been authenticated. The the sightings have been authenticated by uh, more than one witness, and also by radar. Okay, it's the same horseshit. They've been authenticated by witnesses. This, that doesn't mean anything. There's no real video. There's no real photographs. Nothing looks good. Uh, a lot of people were talking about it, but when you think about how many human beings there are, there's 320 million plus in America. How many of them are crazy? At least 1%. That's 3,200,000 crazy people. How many of them uh, really believe what they're saying? At least half. So you got a hundred, you got, you got a lot of fucking crazy people. Well, this is one video. So I've, I've watched a couple of his and it's just, it's interesting to think about in it terms is. of like, we're here. You it's know? all interesting to think about. But as soon as someone starts talking like that, 
He says they've been authenticated. There was more than one witness. That mm -hmm. means nothing. Sure. People are full of shit. You just, I saw something. Doesn't sure. mean anything. You might have, you might not have. But if he's 100% all in and he hasn't had a UFO experience himself mm -hmm. that he's talking about, That's well, then, he's, then he seems gullible. Totally because fair. I, ta I talked to a lot of those people. I talked to those people that had been, I talked to people that had implants pulled out of their body. I talked to people that were experts. I have seen, oh, oh, it's gone. What does it say? You've seen one? Yeah. Sure he said he's seen <laughs> <Joe>. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something that gives me he a lot of have. thought. I don't he, know. He I, might haven't, have. I haven't seen one, but I'm curious he might to have. know. But what he just said there did not impress me because he said that multiple people had seen it, like more than one person had confirmed it. That doesn't mean anything. Mm. Like you could have five guys that lie. That doesn't Joe, mean anything. They might the tell UFO? the truth. I don't think so. Italians call them UFOs. Uh, My people. Do they? Yeah, UFOs. Yeah. I've never heard that. That's a joke. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> How'd I do? Easy. Harry Potter was a fail, but I came Easy. back around. Easy. It was an UFO. <laughs> <laughs> Are we it's still friends? To, yes, 100%. It's not, to dismiss, <laughs> Thank God. it's not to dismiss the possibility of UFOs. It's just that you got to really be careful with how people talk about stuff. Sure. you got to be... You know, if someone starts talking that they know something and they... Well, that, that's one video. I, I've yeah. watched a few of his videos and they were really interesting. He was he was speaking before Canadian Congress talking about this. And um, I, I've watched a lot of it in its entirety. And it's, it's just worth thinking about. That's right. all. But I don't know me, what the truth is. I, let me but play I, devil's I do advocate. Think, sure, please. Yeah, always. Just the fact that he has a lot of videos out there makes me wonder. Because that means that he's making a living doing this. Or this is a, this is a gig. This is a thing Not he does. Not when you're, you're um, speaking before the Canadian Congress. Of course. If I, he I does a bunch that... of these other interviews as well, sure. that allows him to totally. speak in front of... That's his thing. Sure. His thing is I'm the guy who knows everything about UFOs. Right. But th if you were talking to scientists, they would say, show us your evidence. Right. And Always. there's nothing. That's the thing about these guys. They all I... have stories and sure. no one has any evidence. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have feels, the evidence. But it feels good to think that they're out there, right? Fuck yeah. I want to know. I want to know stuff. I mean, like, look at all the shit that we have and we're here and all the, all the things that we, uh, all the resources that we use and we're one planet in a universe full of other planets. That's all. There it is. Way up there. I'm not afraid to say that I'm I'm curious. I'm I think curious everybody as fuck. is. I, and I think people generally it feels like a normal thing to be like, yeah, they're fucking out there. I, but what I think is hard to accept I don't is have hard that evidence. What's hard to accept is that they're communicating with us and only certain people yeah. like Paul Hellier know. Well maybe you know? he does know and, and maybe, maybe he, he has seen something, but maybe he's full of shit. The problem is if you haven't seen it and I haven't or at least I don't think I have. And you're you're talking about these things. You, like you how much how much time you spend thinking and talking about them? Like it get, it gets to become almost like a pathology. Like sure. why are you so invested in something sure. that you don't even know is real? Mm -hmm. But it becomes a thing that people are into. Like they're into baseball scores, mm. or they're into bowling. They get into UFOs. They get into it, and then they start. I mean, this dude's obviously making a career out of it. He's out there traveling. I don't know that. I mean, I, that's something to to investigate upon this conversation. But it makes it's made me think for years. Like I've seen some Paul Hellyer videos, and I'm just like, wow. Okay. And it makes me think, that's all. Maybe. And it, I'm cur I will always be curious about the, about Here's, aliens and psychics and all the shit. It's so it's I'm not so superlative controversial. in that way where it's like yes or no. I just don't know, but I, don't I want know to know. I'd love to keep learning. I would too. But I think that with guys like this, when you're talking about a subject that's this mercurial, this is such a difficult <laughs> subject, I think it's very important to only talk about the actual facts. Sure. Like what we know or what we don't know. If he wants to talk about his own personal experience... That's one thing. But when you start talking about stories that you heard, like, okay. People oh, are full of Agreed. shit Agreed. from the beginning of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been telling yeah. stupid stories about werewolves and fucking vampires. I think that's and how a lot of damage is done, too. It's like, it's all um, derivative passed down. Like, oh, I heard this from this and this and this, but you weren't there, so you don't know. You mm -hmm. know? It's like, I'm reading this book about our brains and how our recollection of... A mem of memories and like eyewitnesses are usually inaccurate inaccurate because you you don't really remember like you think you did and your brain lies to you and tells you that you saw something a certain way right and and even that like i don't know it, it, it's that's it, that's very important for people to know absolutely absolutely people, a lot of people out there that think their memories are super accurate well and this ties into being wrong this ties into being like i didn't see it the the way that I think I did, and I might have made a mistake, and I'm sorry. You know, like, that's okay. That's important, too, because 
I think a lot of times when you have some big statement about something that you believe in or, or, or like if you want to get down to having some sort of uh, trial of this or that and you say, I remember it just like this. Right. It's and a, then you get dramatic and emotional yeah. and try to sell it. It's, you're selling it like you're running for Congress. It's, it's $40,000 a day. Oh. Frightening. <laughs> <laughs>